hello 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 so everyone this is a video on how to take an inventor file and turn it into something that I can 3d print and sending it to me via email so we're gonna go in inventor so you're an inventor and there's something that you made and you want it 3d printed so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top where it says file and you're going to scroll down through here and you're going to find export. When you're in export, then you're going to come over to this window and you're going to select CAD format. So file, export, CAD format. Click on that option and this window is going to pop up. So we need to do a couple things in this window. So first off, what I want to save right now, I want it to go to the desktop. So right now I'm in practice folder the, of mine. So I want to switch it to the desktop. So I'm going to go to this drop down menu and I'm going to look for the word desktop. And here it is, desktop. I'm going to click on that. So that means my file, when I save it, is going to get saved to the desktop, which will make it a lot easier for then uploading it to your email. Next thing I want to do is name it. Anything that you need me to 3D print, no matter what it is, it has to include your name. So, Tracy, Miss, and then tell me what it is I'm 3D printing. So this is going to be, let's say, my dog tag, or it's my um, puzzle piece. So I'm going to say puzzle piece. Oops. I'll do puzzle parts. Um, you'll name it whatever that object is. It's got to include your name. Then under save as a file type, it's going to have all these choices. Find the one that is titled STL file. And they're in alphabetical order, so it's going to be toward the bottom. STL. As you can see, I have it highlighted in blue. So selecting that. So it's an STL file. It has my name. has the name of the object that I need 3D printed and then it's getting saved to the desktop. Then you hit save. So I'm just gonna not close out Inventor just in case anything went awry and I need to go back in. I'm gonna go right here to where it says minimize. I'm gonna select that and then just shut that window down. Just minimized it, it's still open. And then I'm gonna look right here on my desktop for that file and here it is, I'm gonna drag it to the middle Tracy Miss Puzzle Part, that is the part that I need to be 3D printed. I would like for you to drag it a little bit over here to the right hand side. So just grab it with your mouse, hold it down and drag it. Now we need to open up our email so that you can email this file to me to be 3D printed. So you're going to go into Google and right now I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search for my Gmail. So I'm going to type in Gmail up at the top. Select Gmail. There's a lot of ways you can open up your Gmail, but this is one of them. So if you got a shortcut way, know, know of another way, go for it. Um, so now you will probably have to sign in once you're there because mine has been signed into my account so you'll have to type in your email address and you're going to type in your password so once that's done you're then hit compose and you are emailing me so t-m-i-s at hammondacademy.org and this is going to be 3d print So I know that this is a file that I need to 3D print. That's going to be your subject. So I need to attach that file. One of the easiest things to do is if I drag this window off to the side so I can see my desktop, then I grab onto this file and I just drag it over. So I'm going to catch that file. I clicked on it. I'm holding down my um, left click and I'm dragging that over. And right now it's been loaded. I see my file down here, the STL, and then hit send. And voila, it's going to show up here for me to download and 3D print. Alrighty, if you have any questions, just call me over. Um, thanks for listening.